Uh, the issue of allowances in government salaries actually has a history. And I think uh, Senator Kero would be able to tell you that. What happened is there was a point of time in our history where the government did not want to have a lot of uh, responsibility on pension. Mm -hmm. So what they did is instead of increasing your basic salary, because remember your pension is pegged to pay your basic salary. Mm. So what they decided is not to increase the basic salary, but instead increase allowances so that they could have less but. burden on, uh, on, the, on the pension. And that's the reality. So when people start saying there's too many allowances in, uh, in the public service uh, wage bill, it, is act it was deliberate. So there's no other logic about it. So, so they decided, OK, instead of increasing your salary, we'll give you house allowance. Then we'll give you responsibility allowance. Then they'll give you, uh, you know, all sorts of other allowances. Mm -hmm. So that's the history behind it. So I think it's not because there's too many allowances. It's just that they decided that a big portion of your salary will be, will be allowances, just to protect the government from the inability uh, to pay to pay pension, and if you remember, there was a there was a time the they increased the retirement age to sixty five. There was a time it was fifty. It was fifty five. It was fifty five to sixty. Fifty five to sixty. Mm -hmm. To sixty, and it was because at that time government was not able to pay pensions. Right. Many people would have retired. So what they did is increased the retirement age so that they could at least uh, so postpone yeah. the the need to pay pension. So there's a historical issue about it, which we don't discuss it. And, um, uh, and, and it has come to haunt us now.